Hey folks, Papa Boris here, playing some more Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. Let's spend some Blackstone here. So one big priority, of course, now is getting this weapon on somebody. It's just a little awkward because this is the person who I'd like to put it on, but it doesn't really work because even if I put two upgrades in it for two augmentation slots, I'm going to want one of them to wear the next piece of equipment. This is a pretty good skill. It can give a damage boost to both tech priests, or if the poop hits the fan, giving everybody two energy and two physical armor is a huge deal. It makes you nearly invulnerable to enemy attacks when combined with your default armor. So I am tempted by that. On the other hand, if we look at our ranged person, getting here just gives plus two damage with machine spirit all the time. That's every other shot with this. And it is also every third shot with this. So it's hard to say which one is more tempting. The issue is if I don't get this now with that other tech priest, it's just going to be freaking forever till I can equip uh, that, that, two, that two augment required weapon on him. And it's especially awkward because he has no augment capacity. So he'd have to get two upgrades to get one thing. Okay, so I guess what I could do, I don't know if this is the right play, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go for the machine spirit bonus. We're gonna grab some energy armor. It's always tempting to get the movement, but I think energy armor is just a little bit better than movement. Since I am playing like a high cognition points game, using the servitors for cognition so much. And then we're gonna grab this for the damage boost put this on and I can now equip this weapon so it's a little bit risky to put it on him since he doesn't have the discount and two cognition points is two fifths of my maximum cognition however this weapon kind of sucks I often can't even use it so because because of the cone attack so we'll just put this on if I'm not using it because I don't have the cognition then so be it and then this tech priest when he gets his next upgrade which tragically i'm off from being able to do now he can equip this janker pistol and use it sometimes perhaps okay uh i guess these this guy could equip a thing mm, this just seems awful all right fine we'll put this on i mean i'm just gonna take it off probably immediately because it just seems so terrible but uh all right it's fine so let's go ahead and save it And pick our next mission. So here we have this mission, which is a new one. Tragically, this is the wrong physical weapon. It's the single target, not the multi-target weapon. It's fine, but it is not energy damage, so my ranged person doesn't get the boost. My melee person would be fine to wield it. I don't mind doing a couple extra damage here and there. But of course, it costs one cognition point not to, so it's a bit depressing. This thing gives physical attacks bonus damage, which, you know, it's it's a decent thing. Over here, we have an easy mission, though. I'm going to just trust the game that this mission is easier than the other one. This is still a delicate time, so let's go ahead and just try to keep things simple. And now we can finally start using all of our canticles. So here's nine physical damage, six physical damage, and... Do I want healing? I don't think I want healing. If I ever actually need the healing thing, it's just depressing. I don't know what is really that great here. We'll grab Max Machine Spirit. This is basically plus two damage on my ranged character because he has plus two damage when shooting with Machine Spirit. And that can also... Um, apply to the chain attack off of the expensive weapon that he has that's one of the cool things is like when a thing is like yeah you know a bunch of damage to primary target and like a damage to subsequent targets it actually is a little bit better than it sounds because if you have a damage boost it applies to all the things so if you have like a plus two damage boost then that applies to the subsequent thing as well okay so we need three steps to get here Again, it's not that you should ignore glyphs. Glyphs are totally fine. I'm just ignoring them for the purposes of the video, so I'm not wasting time. Uh, what? Did I just miss that? Was that, a, was, that a, was that a diamond and I just didn't notice? Okay. So, this says survive three rounds. I don't remember this mission. Sometimes 
it lies. It'll say survive three rounds, then three rounds go by, and then it says kill all enemies. So it's like, okay, screw you too. I think what I'm going to do here is head over to this for the Blackstone and then kind of set up this choke point here. There's cognition I can get over here. Sometimes it's hard to tell from this preliminary map uh, whether these are like walls or not. It looks like they aren't, but you can't always tell. Uh, but anyway, that's what I'm going to do. If you try to get in a tangle with these guys and then more enemies come out, it can get a little bit awkward. So we'll try that plan. I didn't save because I didn't realize this was a fight. I don't know. I just, I just must have had like a terrible blind spot or something. But anyways, let's see what we can make of this situation. So you are just not going to be doing anything useful right now. I don't want to get into melee with you. So what you're going to do is you're going to sit back here and you're going to collect this cognition. It's more important to me that my ranged character be able to you know, shoot got these guys while also getting away from things. And of course, it's tragic he doesn't have that other weapon, the free weapon that would have been quite useful, quite useful indeed. In fact, maybe I will use it. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's the right call or not. This guy does have energy armor. All right, this might be a terrible decision, but we're going to do it. I'm going to pick up this cognition with my servitor skull thing and we are going to use all the energy just to fire i mean it could do a lot or it could do nothing <laughs> we'll see five all right i'll take it so do i think this guy can hit me from over there i don't think so i could be wrong about that and if i'm wrong i'm gonna take two to three damage so we'll just have to see what happens oh there's a flayed one okay oh geez right there oh no i caramba all right, so the flayed ones, they're not too bad. They're melee guys that don't have much HP, and they also don't do much damage. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a servitor here to take the shot from this Necron warrior. And other than that, we're just going to have to hope for the best. Can you reach me? You can't. Flayed one going after my guy with no physical armor. Great. Luckily, look, I had no physical armor. The thing dealt one damage. Now, it can deal more, but, uh, you know, these guys are just not that strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provoke an opportunity attack actually from both him and from the flayed one. I'm pretty sure I can survive. I don't think the flayed ones can do four damage. This not only gives me two cognition points, but I actually want to trigger the flayed one's opportunity attack so I can get away with my person without triggering an opportunity attack from the flayed one. Each character gets only one um, opportunity attack per turn. And uh, I also want to be next to the Necron so that when it moves away, it takes my machine spirit damage attack. Okay, you are in a weird spot. I'm pretty sure the Snuckrun will be able to shoot me if I hang out here. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'll take a free pot shot at this flayed one. It's not gonna kill it. They do have enough HP that this type of thing won't kill them. Uh, and now the question is, do I stand here or do I kind of duck into this corner and get away from these shots? I do have two energy armors, so I can take a Necron shot and then heal it with my claw. This guy only took one damage, so I'm not super concerned about it. Who's this? This is the Necron Warrior. Yeah, Necron Warrior is about to be shooting. Yeah, I'm going to want to probably heal this person at some point. I do wish I had taken the healing thing. Maybe I should have actually just popped one of these and, and blasted that flayed one to death. There is another event. I don't know. Sometimes there's like two of those uh, diamond event thingies, but... In reality, only one of them's an actual fight. The other one's just like some kind of a thing. I actually forgot to punch the flayed one with this. I should have done that. Okay, but see, notice now I can actually back off and not get hit. I'm going to take a gamble that this will actually kill the flayed one. I really hope it does. If it doesn't, that'll be sad. It killed it. Great. So now what I think I'm going to do is make a bit of a greed bag move. I am going to shoot this guy and I hope I kill him. It's a bit of a gamble because it might not kill him, but we'll see. It was one away from killing him. Oh, bummer. Okay, well, let's grab the cognition point. Even though I don't kill this, I'm gonna want that CP. And I'm gonna just go here and I hope that this gap is far enough away that the Necron Warrior doesn't have enough range to hit me with. I'm also hiding behind my troop, so this one is gonna be most likely killing my troop. 
That is okay. I get a cognition point. In this round, I have three CPs now instead of one like last time. We're getting some more flayed ones. Okay. This is not a big deal. It'll take him some time to get over here. That Necron Warrior is more of a problem. And see, now I survived three rounds, and it says kill all enemies. Like, ha, ha, ha. Okay, so we are going to dump two Servitors there. I think I'm going to hold on to the last one. I think I might want it. So what I'm going to do is whack this guy. And I'm going to go up here, farming, an opportunity, uh, farming a cognition point from him. The idea is that by going up here, I can farm another cognition point. And then I'm going to hit this guy with the Machine Spirit attack to start working down his health. Now, you might say, well, going from 4 to 3 is significant because the Necrons deal 3 or 4 damage. So by doing that, I am guaranteed to die when he shoots me, which is fine. I could have left myself at 4 and taken a coin flip, but then if I lost the coin flip, I would have been pissed that I didn't get the CP when I had the chance. All right, well, I am going to take some damage, so hiding here didn't work. And it was a critical, too, so it uh, pierced my armor, which is very annoying. Yeah, okay. So you cannot farm CPs. Maybe you can kill this guy? I don't think so, though. Yeah, he didn't take enough damage. So we'll just stand there. And now what's happening here? Well, I think I'm going to pop the claw. Because I'm, I might actually want to use it again later. I got lucky that that did the maximum healing. We're going to go here punch this so that I can actually get through. It does look like the gap was big enough that they couldn't shoot me across it. And so the question now is, do I go here and punch this guy with my weapon? Maybe I want to punch this guy with my weapon. Yeah, I'm going to punch that guy with my weapon. And it does mean I'm at zero CP, so I won't be firing my big gun. But this will give me some insight as to his armor situation. Okay, this guy had no armor because I had the machine spirit attack. And it didn't uh, hurt him at all. Also, I really need to freaking remember t to use my canticles. I'm like in non-canticle using mode. And that is to my detriment. Okay, well, I think here... I... Do I want to reveal this guy's stats? No, that's silly. I need, I, need, I, need, I need cognition points. I would at least like to summon a servitor. So I am torn about whether to shoot this guy. He might just like be a waste of my shot. Then again, it is only two to three damage. Yeah, all right. I think that with that two to three damage and this attack from the Servitor, this guy will die. So let's just shoot this shot. Oh, I was really wrong about that. Oh dear. Okay, well, I just did no damage. Okay. What are we doing with these opportunity attacks? This guy had no armor and this is a machine spirit hit. Nah, it wasn't enough. Are you gonna shoot my Servitor and kill him? Okay, that's fine. That means I'm not taking damage on my tech priest, and I am getting a cognition point, which is okay. And then this guy, this flayed one, is not going to be able to make it over. Okay, but the machine spirit, I won the coin flip, so I did five damage, not four, and it one-shot that guy. Okay, great. So now I can make another servitor. Do I want to summon my last troop? Hmm, I think so. I think we'll just put it here. That kind of hems in this Necron, making it very difficult for him to get to a spot where he can shoot. All these squares are adjacent to somebody. Oh, that just killed him. Okay, great. Well, I don't really see any reason to advance toward that flayed one. He'll come to me, so I'll just stand there. Now these Necron warriors are coming up. Oh, you're in range to shoot. Aye, that's annoying. You know, I should have used my Servo Skull on this guy. He has one HP. That would have killed him. Ah, oh, that's in reach. When you're... On the gap. Okay. Well, the Curatio Claw might come back off a cooldown. I don't remember what the cooldown is. You're at 1 HP, so you're probably not going to actually be able to do anything against these ranged enemies. Maybe you'll be able to hit that Flayed one someday, but there's no reason just to suicide you. Let's back you up. And you. Yeah, this is coming back next turn. So, what I think I'm going to do is get this Cognition Point finish this guy off and back the heck up here which is out of reach we hit level one it's not gonna get to two I'm not gonna be able to scan this 
deal seven damage to it to lower two bars and kill these Necron Warrens the flayed one. So I'm not just not, I'm just not gonna worry about the Necron Awakening level. And you, I guess I'll reveal the stats on this flayed one, just so I know how much energy to put into it. The Necron Warrior is gonna be the last thing to die because now it can't shoot anything anymore, and it um is gonna take some time to get into range. Actually, I guess I'll reveal its stats. Fine, we'll just shoot it. See what's going on over here. Okay, perfect. So I guess sure we'll do this. It's not hitting anybody with the with the area cone, but it has a slightly less than fifty percent chance of just killing them. It got him. Great. Okay, now this is gonna. I'm gonna need to shoot him with my crappy weapon to get him to not respawn. All right. You will go here, punch this guy for a lot of damage. Should I harvest opportunity? I don't think so. I think it's just gonna, I mean, this guy's gonna whack me, so I don't see the point of harvesting the opportunity there. Oh, it's in range again. Balls. That's annoying. Ah, I messed it up. Obviously, I could have been further back. I just, again, for some reason, as long as I've played this game, I just have never bothered to, to uh... Look up the ranges. I should have just had that Servitor out in front. Would have gotten an extra Cognition point. Okay, so you're at 8 out of 10 HP. So I guess it actually makes more sense to heal this one. Because it's if it, if it rolls high, it's not going to waste any of it. And what I guess we'll do is just go here. Um, I could have killed him. I could have killed him last time. So I lost a bit of Blackstone there to my... Fool's errand. So we'll go here. I could actually just whack that guy. Yeah, whatever. Let's do it. We'll get a free whack. And because I don't care too much about the awakening level, I could drag this out some. Yeah. I could drag this out a little bit. Basically what I can do is I can... Uh, Make sure I don't kill this flayed one right here. Because if I kill it, it'll end the thing. And what I'm going to do instead is go up here and scan. Now, can I shoot it? I can actually shoot it. Perfect. It is guaranteed to not die. And then I can spend a cognition point to go scan this. And not worry about killing it. Now, there is a case to be made for trying to blow this up and for not dragging things out. Because we're not done. There's still another diamond. That other diamond might just be like a, you know, narrative thing. I feel like that maybe happens sometimes in the early missions. Where it's not a fight. It's just some, like, narrative choice. Okay, let me see. Do you have your claw back? You don't. You just used it. Okay, so we're going to lose 20 blackstone, unfortunately. But let's just go ahead and not dilly-dally. We'll whack you to death. And then what's nice is that when you kill all the enemies, you get all the CPs that are left on the map. You harvest all of them. And so then if there is another fight, you're going to be at full cognitions points for the other fight. Okay, let's get some blackstone. And then let's go to this other diamond. Did I just blank on the pack that that was a diamond and not a thing? All right. Anyway, uh, we're going to get the schematic. It is this thing. It's actually a good weapon. I'm really happy to find this. I always like to find this early on. This is perfect for my melee person. It's another weapon that reveals stats, does a decent chunk of damage, and I can shoot it for free with my skill. Of course, I'll need to do a little bit of work to free up the augment points for it, but that's fine. In this case, it actually would have made a lot of sense to go for the glyph, because a lot of glyphs heal. And so I could have gotten some healing, which would have been tantamount to extra black stone. Then again, I got this, which is like equivalent to five points of healing. So that's fine. And then we're going here. So I'm hoping that this is not actually a fight, but it is a narrative thing. This is an easy mission, and the extra fights don't kick in until later. Yeah, this is just a thing. Okay, so here... I, this narratively sounds like I'm taking some damage. I'm just going to go ahead and do this... So the Necron Awakening level did not actually increase with the one bar. I got Blackstone. 
that's a win-win and that that was just a narrative thing okay honestly that's fine I've had runs where I've done much worse than this, so we do lose 40 Blackstone for the damage on the Tech Priest, which could have been avoided if I had sent this Servitor out in front. Well, that would have blocked 20 of the the Blackstone loss. But still, we're, we're in decent shape. We'll be able to upgrade our guys, or at least upgrade one of them one time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.